Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar on creating killer titles inside Final Cut Pro 10. You know, the reason we create titles in the first place is we need to explain something that the audience needs to understand, so readability is paramount. But we can make them readable and still make them interesting, and how to create interesting, readable titles is what this session is all about. What I want to cover today is to show you how to create titles, how to format title text, illustrate a variety of different title styles, and show you how to animate titles. And there's a lot more animation than you might at first expect. And then we'll shift over to Motion 5. We'll create a title in Motion 5, specifically an infographic, which we can then use in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's start with a simple title. I'm going to just double click here. By the way, I'm going to be working with a lot of generators. This happens to be a generator called Wood, and it's not the default setting, but it gives me a nice sense of texture. I'll talk more about that in just a minute. Let's say that I want to add a title that's in the center, a main title. Fastest way to do that is to type Control T. At the position of the playhead, it adds the basic title. You can see the word title right there. Adds the basic title and at its default duration of 10 seconds. A couple of interesting things. There's no animation here and there's plenty of room for formatting. This just provides a standard full screen text title that we can put over our, our background, put over our video. All right, well, if we wanted to have a basic lower third title, it's Shift Control T. It goes at the position of the playhead, and notice that now I've got a lower third title. And if we turn on Action Safe and Title Safe by throwing this switch right up here and go down to Show Title Action Safe Zones, notice that that text is perfectly positioned in the low left corner of Title Safe, exactly where you want it to be. That's the good news. Apple has also given us a centered lower third and a right justified lower third, and they don't line up with title safe, and the, the formatting is totally different. It would have been really great if Apple had given us three lower thirds that all matched in terms of alignment and text, so they all started in the same spot, but they didn't. So you're going to have to do some tweaking and be sure you turn on title safe because middle and right are below title safe and need to be adjusted up. I'm still grumbling about that, but I'm just giving you a heads up. So these are really simple titles that we can apply. There's no animation. They're already formatted exactly where they need to be, and now we just have to style the text to our, our own purposes. Well, let's just turn off Title Safe by going back to the switch and show Title Safe and Action Safe. I want to show you something else. Now here I'm working with a different generator. This is a rock generator. And the thing I really like about this is if I highlight this and go to the inspector, go up to generator, we have all these different rocks to choose from, concretes and limestone. And the default setting is not slate. But it's one that I like a great deal, especially because I've changed the tint to be a dark blue-green. And rather than have it look like this, I've tinted it to make it more stone-like. Then I went to the Video tab and went to Compositing, which is at the top when I've got Generators and Text selected, and dragged the opacity from its full bright, which is up here, down to something which is much dimmer. And notice as I bring that rock surface down in opacity, making this darker. Look at one, how the text pops, and yet I'm still able to retain all that wonderful texture in the background. Well, this is true of, of organics. It's true of fabrics. It's true of rocks or stones. It's true of, of other backgrounds that we're working with for generators. In most cases, the default settings are not necessarily the best settings. Load the generator and, and play with it. All right, so I've got the a full screen text. There's actually a lot of formatting that we can do. And when we open the inspector, there's two buttons that show up, title and text. Title controls any built-in animation that's associated with the title. We'll talk about that in a minute. Text allows us to change the formatting. There's actually two categories, basic and style. This will be relevant in just a few minutes as we talk about saving styles. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. 
you can access all of our training videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. There's more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth, all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our live power-up webinars for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar on creating killer titles inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz store. And look for webinar 95.